week here in New York. The city, the people have really embraced the sport with passion. Here's a great story about an organization that really is making a difference. It's a Thursday night on Ward's Island in New York. And in the shadow of the Robert F. Kennedy Bridge, members of Street Soccer USA are practicing. So Street Soccer USA is a sport for social change organization. And we use soccer uh, as a tool. Um, and we teach job and life skills um, and put caring people in the lives of, of the homeless. One of those caring people is Stephanie Norris, a soccer player all of her life. She started as a volunteer and has grown to love the program and the people. It really is a, a family, and, and that's our New York City motto. Um, we play for family. The connections I've made with, with the other volunteers and coaches and with the guys on the team, they're really inspiring. Stephanie is one of a number of volunteers that help teach the skills of life through soccer. We work on uh, setting three, six, and 12-month goals. You set on-field goals and off-field goals. And the, the concept behind Street Soccer USA is that it's sport for social change and that soccer is just a tool. And we use this as a platform to really provide um, a support system for the players, but then help them find jobs, connect with family, move out of the system. But why soccer? What is it about the game that can motivate people to change their lives? Soccer, uh, because um, it's cheap and easy, and honestly, it's the world's game. It's the game of the people around the world, so there's a lot of solidarity you know, messages, I think, that actually mean a lot to folks. You know, when you're homeless and you're isolated and alone, to suddenly become a soccer player and be part of the world's largest community, um, you know, that, that means something that's valuable. TK is an incredible success story. Street Soccer USA helped give him his life back. I lost my job, lost my apartment, and uh, I had to go into the homeless shelter. I didn't, I don't have family here, so when it goes down like that, I'm all on my own. And um, I remember walking into the shelter, and they had this player back then, and he just walked up to me, asked me if I played soccer, and I was like, yeah. And he told me about the team, and it was like, you know, finding home where you're not supposed to be at home, you know. Even when he was back on his feet, he continued to be part of the program. After I left the shelter system, I, I still stayed with the team, and, you know, because I liked the good work they, they was all about. And um, I volunteered for about a year, and um, now I coach the team. TK, uh, we're really proud. We just hired TK um, to work for our organization. He just got his associate's degree um, after being homeless. And um, you know, TK is really symptomatic of a lot uh, of people across the country who are uh, young adults um, who are alone. TK is one of many that Street Soccer USA has helped and continues to help. Uh, of the people that, that participate in our program, 90% of them you know, get these life and job skills. And 75% of those folks within a year either move into housing, education, uh, further education, or full-time employment. So it's a really high success rate. That's it for the show, and hope you guys enjoyed our look at the All-Star Game. It's been a lot of fun, and I think the game's going to be a lot of fun. See you next time. Clothing for We Live Soccer provided by Roots. Footage provided by MLSsoccer.com. Accommodations provided by the Grand Summit Hotel.